Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Craig here again. Um, <coughs> I thought I'd tell all about this kit. I got it for Christmas. I didn't do a Christmas um, list of what I got for Christmas. This is one of my presents I got for Christmas. And it only came today. All did it Christmas, and it only came today. Obviously, with the problems with uh, China, one thing or another. So, it's the new um, Meng Sherman Jumbo. It's quite a hefty box. It's just arrived, so I haven't even locked it yet. Late, uh, late delivery today. But, um, nice artwork, really nice artwork. I like that. I'm going to see if I can do something on the latter. Well, if, if not the same as that, it's a shame not to. Right. Um, on the end, we've just got the uh, usual crap. And the. There we are. Where's the number? There we are. There we are. Where's the last? Is that the number? TS-0-045, it's a men kit, obviously 135 scale. Sorry, there we are. I'm going to say we have an AK colour call out. I have a few AK paints, so I might be lucky. There's a profile of it, of the, uh, the uh, jumbo. Sorry, but my voice is a bit crappy today, unfortunately. But I've got such a dry mouth, and every time I drink, it just just goes back dry again. So you have to, if I start uh, croaking, I'll have to pause it a little bit, but I'm all right at the moment. And on this side, it tells you a little bit about the assault gun, or assault tank for MA, MA, M4A3E2 Jumbo. And that's a working suspension, and I presume it'll have workable tracks if it's got working suspension. Now there's a bit of, if you want to read that, I'll leave that there a second, you can read, can you read it? I'm going to come back. White on white, you might not be able to read it. So, that's about it really, so what we'll do first, <coughs> we shall open the box. Give it this way and see what we've got. Let's just move some crap out the way, I've put me nice tea there. Why is that moving there? That's not good. Sorry, this is my camera starting to drop a little bit on the wire. Right, so here we go. We shall open the box. And you can see it's, uh, it's rammed with a plastic. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen screws. So we'll do what we usually do. We shall start from the top and work our way down. I should put it over there. Um, my knife. Don't find my knife. I think it's here. Organised as usual, not. Just pop them back in. Sorry about that, I'm not organised at all today. We'll start with the first screw. Oh, I've mainly gone the way of uh, some here, my bloody safety pins. And safety pins, uh, Staples. Right, so let's have a quick gander at this first. Mm, very nice. Very, very nice. A little superb on that. Right, it starts away as a transmission cover, which has got a lovely texture as you can see. And we've got the sprockets. And the uh, muck guards for the front. With some little bits and bobs, <coughs> the uh, travel lock, the wheels are really, really nice. They really are nice. They've actually got nails on the tyres. Let's have a look. You can just make them out in the corners there. Sorry, where are you? And you see the uh, front mat that's got a lovely cast texture on as well, and the side. Rolled steel, well marked at the centre, looks really, really nice. Wheels are quite impressive than wheels, they're lovely. And then we have the uh, bolt down the transmission cover. Really, really nice, really, really nice. Don't know what them bits are yet. Anybody lets me know, I'll probably find out in the instructions any of these pieces here. It's got a wood texture, so I presume it could be the front 
you know, I had to store stuff at the front that wouldn't bring him across it. But uh, we shall find out. So that's the first two. Very nice. That's, that's going to be the uh, quality of the kit. And I don't see any problems. Right. We can do two versions by the looks of it. No, it isn't. Mm, possibly. But this one isn't stapled. Right, let's see what we've got in here. Side skirts, little gun crutch, another transmission cover. That's a foot, I don't know. The rear. Firewall. So obviously there's going to be an internal kit, I would have thought at some point. Putting the firewall in there. So I have another transmission cover with a casting with a casting number on there as well. Same again, lovely. Nice texture. The side skirts. Yeah. Nice little detail, and I've got that rolled steel again. And there's the, uh, I hope, the rolled cast texture on the um, transmission and the uh, final drive. Some other bits and pieces, another bolt for the uh, transmission cover, little bits and pieces. Firewall for the centre, so I say, and there's a and there's the rear which has got a nice texture again and where my finger is here where we are here is a former for the light for the headlight guard which is nice it's nice to have a nice cast texture again on top of the uh, driver's uh, hatch and the uh, bow and the bow gunner's hatch and more front muck guards another gun crutch so a little bit some pieces but there again really really nice really nice Excuse me two seconds. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, so we've uh, had a look at this and that's the uh, second sprue, which is uh, nice again. No problems. Right. Right here, look at the new engine deck. Engine grills, engine grills. There again, really nice. The rear end, that's the rear cup, the uh, rear engine deck. The uh, big grill covers. Even this stuff has uh, for the um, deflector. Yeah, so you've got a bit of cast section on the deflector as well, or rolled steer, whichever you want to call it. See that? And there's the uh, engine covers. Some more little bits and pieces, all that nice texture on as well. Oh, so that's really nice. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. <coughs> right, next we've got some little bits and pieces. This is Pioneer tools and this is a generic screw. Sprue, sprue. They're looking for more models, I would have thought. Let's have a look what we've got. Periscope guards, spare tracks, jerry cans, lifting hooks, handles, barrel for the machine gun. Yeah. Torque okay, was there again, another nice sprue. I say it's got probably this should be in the other kits that they bring out. Jerry cans are nice, I've got a nice uh, labeling on there as well. There's a 30 cal, there's a barrel for the uh, 50 cal, I presume. Yeah, yeah, it isn't, it isn't slide moldy, but it's got a, a hollow, uh, hollowed out at the end, which is nice. Yeah, so it's, in, it's in multiple parts. That looks like another 30 cal on the two shooter. With the, uh, that's a nice detail on there, that's the, uh, let me just come out a little bit, number 26, that's a, a magazine for the 50 cal coming out of the box, which is quite a nice detail on that as well. Some more Pioneer tools, tow eyes for the cables, it looks like the, uh, just for the 50 cal, the, the stand, the pintle stand, for the uh, machine gun, that's nice again. Right, the next 
food. Some internal detail for the uh, for the gun. Commander's cupola, driver's uh, loader's hatch. That's a nice one piece muzzle, not two piece, one at the end and uh, little bits. Aerial stand, more hatches, mantlet, toilet ring. Right, so nice again. It's two piece barrel. I think that's uh, no problem to do. There's a nice texture on the um, gun mantlet. Little bits and pieces on the hatch there. We've got uh, some more number letter letter on the hatches. On the driver did load of hatch. And there's the uh, texture again. There's the one piece model, two piece one at the end, so it's not even got a same line to worry about. Commander's cupola. There's the uh, internal for the gun. gun. The turret ring, some of the little bits, and there's the bottom of the turret, which again has got a lovely texture. Plenty of grab handles. Again, really, really nice. Really nice. Very, really nice. Right, there's another bottom of the turret here. I don't know if you oh, This is what I'm thinking. This is for the, uh, the jumbo, this one. There's a barrel for the jumbo as well. So we've got the same again. Got another whole bottom. Sorry, turret bottom. No grab handles. We've got the uh, main barrel for the jumbo, which is, sli which is uh, slide molded. And then we have the front mantlet cover and mantlet. A couple more hatches. Little bits and pieces. Oh, that's nice. I think I can drill that out a little bit more. No, I won't because it's rifled. It's actually got a rifle in it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Should I just see it slightly? It's actually rifled. Nice, which is a nice touch. Right, I'm getting towards somewhere now, this is the main mm. two. I've got a floater in there, so I'll keep that bag out. And this is the running gear, more wheels again. Still nice wheels again. And the bogies, got a nice cast texture on the uh, Casting number, I think it is. The bogies. Idler. Return rollers. It's hot there. Another sprocket. So again, with a nice colour, nice texture on the. Uh, knock out the writing on it as well. So it's in there. To the uh, on the wheels. Again, you've got a letter on the wheels. See inside. I see ins out, out inside the wheels. Yeah, and we've got on the other side. Well, so far I've seen no flash, and I've seen no um, injector pin marks where there shouldn't be. So quite impressed with the uh, the face. Let me just move this light back a little touch. Like that, we can see better. And we might as well just lift it up and you can see the uh, casting numbers on there as well on that texture. That's really really nice. So there's two of those. Two of those. That one will come off there. That one's that's broken. No. No, I thought that was a broken piece on there, but it isn't. I'd be mean, disappointed if it had been. Right, like so. Well, let's 
give you two options here, which is nice. We've got uh, rubber tracks, which I have to say, probably one of the best rubber tracks I've ever seen. They're really, really nice, those. Now on the chevron, they're really nice and they're really flexible, not tight at all. And I can't see any, you know, silly injection marks on them. I'm on the rear as well. They're really nice. And they can connect this. I say they're lovely. But they are really, really nice. And the connector, a simple way to connect, so you don't lose, you don't see any uh, glue marks or anything. Shall see. And see how I feel when I get round to building it. If I want to do the uh, rubber traps, or do I want a chance? I've done these before on the uh, M10. Same sort of principle. Sandwiching them together. I think I've seen a jig for it as well. But it's end our fail. There's three sprues in here, all the same. Let's have a look what we've got. There again, everything's really nice again. Sorry, I mean, uh, that was a bit dry again. And here. Yeah. I'm going to take some doing. I'm going to take some doing. This is lovely again, really nice. Everything's there. Okay, so when I get to it, I see what kind of mood I'm in. I see them rubber tracks. Not wrong with them. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. And we'll work with workable suspensions so will work, so you know. Right, this is uh, the upper hole and lower hole and some poly cups. Yeah. Also, yeah, so let's see what we're doing. Really dangerous. Anyway, we've got some poly caps. Lower hole. It's got that nice check even on the bottom. A really nice detail. Obviously not much on the side, but it's still got that nice texture as well, that roll to texture. Really, really nice. Let's pop that back on that. And then we have the upper hole. Which is really, really nice. You see how cast texture on the front? That's really nice. And the weld seams. Yeah. They're not sunken, they're risen. Yeah, they're risen. Which is good. I think they were replaced. I think the, um, obviously, the jump wall of the other man that on there because it makes extra. Extra protection. I'm put a bit of a plate over that, but really nice texture on that um, on the front of that with the uh, <coughs> front. Right, so we're getting towards the end. Right, in depth kit. Really nice again. A texture again on it, and it's got a custom number on there. If you can see that, again on the top of it, old steel. Really nice detail on there. That's really really nice. I do like that. So, right, must put the sprues before we hit the uh, bits and bobs. Uh, this is a 50 cal, this is the extra 50 cal, so that must be just a, a normal Sherman. Mm -hmm. This one's a, 
Are these pebbles? The pen and a bloody bum. Right, so. Ooh, let's come off there. Another 50 cal, and as you can see, I think I'll bring it up to me hand a little bit. The actual sheet sleeve is hollowed out as well. See the end. You can see the holes. See that? Which is nice. I'll put that back in the bag to leave it otherwise. And then we have quite a few uh, options for the barrel. And the uh, couple of cases, armor cases, a couple of different barrels on the uh, maybe fingers. Barrel options, some with the handle, some with not. More uh, 50 cal bullets down the uh, handle at the back. And again, no flash, no stupid injection marks. Well, the injection marks are either at the back, what you're not going to see. So that's really nice. Again. And <coughs> we have two pieces of, uh, I won't get them out clear there, but we have a, we have a former track former for the uh, track, one of the former a jig I should say. And on the other side we have headlights, commander's cupola and periscopes. You might see them nice and clear. Right, we have here is the uh, volute, uh, Melute spring, the uh, salt tank, the jumbo, and on the back there it's uh, you're not throwing away, you've given, it's given out of the uh, ration pack type things or boxes so you can cut up and put on that as a storage, which is really nice. I say, I've seen that once before, I think. I can't, I think it must have been a Meng kit. I think it was the Meng 76 wet, if I'm not mistaken. Right, I think it's the same, same layout. Yeah, they're all nicely put into there. We'll just pop one out. Lost it. There's a spring and push them. You might not be able to tell, but you can push them in. Really nice. I like that. So that's the workable springs. Right. These are for the tracks, one presumes track pins. Lots of track pins in there. We'll see how I feel when I get round to it. But I do like building these tracks. Quite a fight, I, mean, I find it quite therapeutic building them. Yeah, so there are the track pins. I was wondering how they held whether or not they held together. Right, we have the decals. They look quite nice. Nothing wrong with men decals. We'll open them up. We'll open them. We've got a bit of PE. There's some casting number, casting number, uh, letter uh, numbers, lifeguards. A little bit some pieces on there. Quite nice. And we have the. Uh, not copper but it's that wire which, which is mouldable which is quite good I like that so that's okay let's have a look at the uh, the decals well I can't see not, apart from the big number that's all I can really see in the carrier film but quite nice things on uh, first in Bastogne and a couple of slogans in there, the numbers, unique markings, really really nice. You see the only one with a bracket, you could, you could separate them and cut them around with a, you know, with a knife, sharp knife to, to get rid of that carrier film. But really nice, they're nice decals, they're really nice decals. Let's pop them back in here. So that's the end of the plastic and the uh, decals and PE and whatever else we've just seen and uh, we shall start now with the uh, destructions 
Let me just check in there, there's nothing else in there. No, no, there is, there is, I never knew this. They've actually got a metal barrel. Uh, didn't really didn't see that for the uh, jumbo. Okay. So I have a spare barrel for a jumbo if anybody wants one, a plastic one. Right, so we jump the uh, typical men. Typical men. We have the uh, booklet form. Tyrannosaurus Rex. 045, that's their kit number. Nice artwork again on, on there. So let's have a quick go through this. This kit has been developed with great support from Mr. I can't pronounce his name. I express our gratitude to him. Bit of information, written in English, Japanese and Chinese I presume. Give me a bit of a rundown. Yeah, and I get some Russian. And then we start off with the uh, do's and don'ts and tools that you need that you need. And the first one it tells you there are four options for the model to show. Excuse me, just a sec. Please select one of the options before assembly and refer to the paint scheme for details. So we have option A, which I'm probably going to do, option B, option C, and option D. I'm definitely going to do option A. Yeah, first in Bastogne. We've got that colour one again, which I do like most things. Right filter, something similar. Start off with the low hub. Low the hole, sorry. Put the transmission cover on and the rear plate. And there again. Mark the transmission final drive. Build it up on the app as a separate thing. And then put it together. Two eyes on that. The toy eyes are shackly type things. Please select one option before assembly. So, probably these are all just generic, all these. Right, and we're still on the lower hull. Putting the rear door on. Got the other pieces. Not too sure what that is. So, small bits and pieces of the toy. You've got a toy in, hook. More shackly type things, other little bits and bobs. Final for the uh, idler. I don't know what that is though, never seen that before. And we start on the rear deflector. Again, it's all broken down nicely. It's nicely broken down, they actually went into sizable chunks so you can, you know, work with it. Now you've got the idler going, idler, hand, uh, uh, idler, idler, the idler going on oh. and the and the, and the uh, exhaust and then we're starting to do with the suspension let me see if there's any options on here optional parts right so okay so a b and c have those wheels and d has those wheels okay so options there gives you at the top and uh, options a b c have those wheels and d has those wheels the suspension doesn't look overly complicated. It really doesn't. Fairly straightforward actually. Nothing wrong with those. So you've got left hand suspension and right hand suspension. And then we've got the um, idle wheel and then we have here we have A, B and C again as that sprocket and D has that sprocket. There you go. Where my thumb is. That's nicely laid out, not too difficult to uh, understand. <coughs> and then we're starting to put the wheels on, I don't put them on then. I uh, What I tend to do is I build them, I spray them when they're built up. Sorry, spray them black once they're built up. And then with the wheels I keep separate, I use the uh, you know little circle things. And I just do the green and that, so I've got the black all of my stairs apart from the... Uh, got your black for your rubber then. There's the, there we go, there's the former for the tracks, so you put them on like, I don't know, too difficult to do actually. Oh, and then you put your pins through. Yeah, but again, there's nothing wrong with those rubber tracks, I wouldn't be putting them on anyhow, now. Let's see what I see from the corner. And adjust the idler wheel to get the track tension, so you can adjust the idler, which is nice. Apply CA glue to both ends of the track pins. Right. 
Doesn't look too bad. Most of it, I think, the hardest of it will be uh, the clean up on them. Right, we're starting the upper hole now. We've got some, uh, some drills to start drilling a few holes, depending on what option is gain, is it? Upper hole, remove some remove bits and pieces. Yeah, because obviously the plate's going to be um, onto the front, front of that. And there's the plate I was on about, in that orangey colour thing. So the jumbo, and then we've got the side plates onto the upper hole as well. And. Half a gun and internal stuff, I don't know what that is. Never seen that. Right, and then we found the engine deck on the back. Again, fairly straightforward. Then we've got the uh, machine gun. And then we're going to drill some more holes on the rear engine deck. Uh, upper hole, it is any parts. Yeah, there's more, uh, more, drill, more drilling to do. And then it's on there, and you get your pioneer tools on there. So you've got the option, two options again. You've got Option A, B and C is F2 and option D is F3 so we've got a different, slightly different um, rear cover. Pioneer tails I won't be putting on at that time. And then you can put the firewall in again. So obviously we can, the long arm will be getting a full interior kit I think. The Vesta is going to be the first one to get it out I reckon. And there's the Vesta kit now which is superb as well. I wouldn't be quite putting it, I wouldn't fasten it down at that point. I always never, I never do until I do the track. To get the tracks on. And we have the uh, like a vent, a vent. Yeah, with PE. Couple of bits and pieces, the um, up guards. And there again, there's some more bits and up, the uh, torn lifting eyes, things like that. And then again with the uh, come on, uh, driver's hatches as well. Bend this part so you've got some PE on. Um, you get the options of PE, like uh, like uh, periscope guys or plastic. The plastic ones didn't look too bad. They didn't look too chunky. And then again we got the gun, the. Uh, <coughs> And the hatches going on. And they get a gun lock. Little bits and pieces again at the top. And then, what's this one? Engine hatches assembly. Hmm. Must be there again for the uh, interior kit again. I've never seen that before like that. Bit different. So they're sitting like that. So that's the final thing at the back there, which is quite nice. It's quite nice. 18. And there again we're starting to put the uh, upper covers on. And that, little bits and pieces. Uh, more pioneer tools I won't be putting. A few fuel filler caps. More drilling to do for A, B and D. It's different from C. Um, yeah, and again. I'm just telling you the um, upper whole exterior parts, yeah. And we've got the fine, uh, spare tracks at the back. And then we start with the uh, gun cleaning rods, more pioneer tools, the parcel shelf at the back, and this is the former, the bending for the light guards, and a little bit some P again, around the um, <coughs> filler caps, like a shield, and then we're starting to do a bit of uh, bit some, uh, fuel, the uh, fuel jerry cans in the back, which I won't be doing at that point either, a little bit and pieces on the upper hole, tow cable. Um, it's 123 millimeters long, one millimeter D3 and D9. It is, yeah. More. This is for the rear engine, so it slam on it uh, like a brace. It, when you open the covers, it doesn't slam on the side. It stops on there. Got another lifting hook. Yeah, I thought this wooden texture is the wood for the uh, storage at the front, which we have a couple of ammo crates. Go on the front. I've got a few bits and pieces I can add to it. Here's your options for that. Quite intense. Then we're starting off with the uh, <coughs> the gun, internal stuff in the gun. Looks quite nice. It fits inside there. Now obviously we've got the uh, clear parts going in there. I won't be putting them in at that time. Well, I might do it. Mask them off. Then we have the. Uh, 
lower hole being put, lower turret being put together, the uh, lower ring and the turret ring, and then we have the mantlet being built up. Again, we have these letters on the um, on the numbers. Um, Yeah, for the letters, you put the give you put letters on there and P. You see that? The fingers there. But that's for B and D. Is that one? And C and D is that one. I wonder what they were for. And then we have to see the uh, hatches for the, for the uh, turret. All fairly straightforward. And the clear part for the commander's cupola. Yeah, some more hatches, and then we. What the sub assemblies and then you add them to the uh, upper hull and more stuff on the upper hull, more periscopes and things like that go into there. And you get more stuff to go on top of the uh, top of the hull. Let's be getting somewhere near now. I was quite a bit there. Uh, and we're starting off with the 50 cal, build a 50 cal up, position it. Gives you an option of a barrel you want to use. Oh, that's for the back, you can put the barrel in, uh, the extra must be a spare barrel that you can put into the clips at the back of the turret. Obviously, we're not going to use that. That's, uh, looks like for the 76, that one. And we'll be using the uh, uh, D as a different barrel, or A, B, and C as the uh, short barrel. And put that for the low hole. This is just the, uh, we should put them at the front, all the sprues. I'm going to tell you what you've got and what you haven't got. And then we've got the pull of call out again, you've got upper, lower, all the side views, and the uh, 37 Bank Tank Battalion, 4th Armoured Division, USA Battle of the Bulls, Bastogne, Belgium, December 1944. That one, and we have 69 Tank Battalion, 6th Armoured Division, USA, US Army, Germany, March 1945. Again, and then we have. 2nd Squadron, 2nd African Hunter Regiment, 5th Armoured Division, Free France, Summer and Autumn 1944. Again, and then we have this one, which is the 15th Tank Battalion, 6th Armoured Division, USA Army, Germany, Spring 1945, with an OSF turret. So i work out what that one is. Obviously, it's got a slightly longer barrel turret. I think that's it, I think. Yeah, and then the core call out. From uh, Mango AK and Accretion. Never heard of it. Uh, yeah, but I've got my, go through all my paints and see what I've got and what I haven't got. So that's the end of that. So I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with that. I'm very impressed with that. I'm in the Sherman mode at the moment, but uh, yeah, I do like that very much, very much. So thank you for viewing and uh, thank you to my subscribers again. I'm slowly getting better. I'm still very tired. Um, easily get very, very tired and uh, I just sleep. You know, I sleep. I'm starting to eat better now. I'm starting to start eat. I still have my feeding tube in. Um, but because I've lost that much weight, I lost five and a half stone from when I started to where I am now. So I'm down to 14, just over 14 stone. So I was quite a big chap, I was 20 stone, which is good I've lost the weight, but not in this not in this way. So I want to try and maintain my weight about 14, between 14 and 15 if I can. Um, so I'll go back again on the 31st of March for another checkup and um, see if my weight is stabilised and hopefully I can get a feeding tube. They don't use it at the moment. They yeah, still have what you call flush the tube every day. Um, obviously because you've got your it's going straight into your stomach, um, so you've got all sorts of you know crap coming through it. Um, and I go out this Monday on my way to uh, a lymphedema clinic for my neck because obviously the damage that I've had from my neck, the muscles and everything else, and there's you know they're going to uh, uh, massage the throat so I can swallow better and you know, start eating properly. Even though I'm eating a lot better, um, I'm still not eating. I don't think I'll ever have, have a big appetite again. I, I was, well, the, the surgeon said to me, he says your body will never ever be the same ever again. So you know I'm not I'm not disappointed that I'm not going to eat a lot again. It's, you know, my time of life. I'm 55 shortly, so I'm only a young chap. Um, so, you know, I want to try and maintain a decent weight, eating a bit more healthily. Um, at the moment I can eat what I want because I have to. I have a full, a full fat milk, 
custards, I don't want to clean on fresh cream, but I have to eat it. Um, but um, trifles, I don't know, uh, milkshake, I have banana milkshakes, which I do like, with whole milk again, and, and a banana in there for good measure. Uh, some smooth fruit smoothies, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, like I've had a bit of chicken, I've had some chips, not a lot. But tonight I'm having cheese on toast, that's all I fancy tonight, it's a bit of cheese on toast. Um, you know, I'll have a yoghurt or I'll have some custard with um, brioche, I've always liked brioche and the stuff you get out of Aldi, which is a, you know, a good shop, is the, um, the vanilla chop, vanilla flavoured brioche, we have chocolate vanilla brioche, cho chocolate brioche and the lemon, my wife likes the lemon, I like the uh, the vanilla especially. But the chocolate ones are nice because they're individually wrapped so what I do with those I just pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds so they're nice and warm and I eat them with a cup of tea instead of biscuits. So that's where I'm at. I'm getting there. It's just me, it's just me throat and my voice and this you know with the jawbone coming through inside my mouth which has to be sorted yet. Yeah. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. I'm getting there slowly so I'm still very slow at building. I said, started the build log on the little Panzer 1 uh, and because of a lot of the small parts and I've still got the shakes I've struggled to put it together <laughs> I've managed but I struggled with my hands shaking like buggery so that, that'll be later no, I've started doing the, the uh, build log on that so look out for that should be next so once again thank you very very much for looking at for looking again and for your support through this 8 months of sheer hell um, I says thank you very much. So this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you very soon with another video.